Hello and welcome to Newsmax TV. I'm John Bachman. Joining us now on the night of the second presidential debate is Jenny Beth Martin. She's a co-founder of Tea Party Patriots. Jenny Beth, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. All right, throughout the course of the Republican primary and up to the, uh, at least the first presidential debate, Romney was viewed with some skepticism from some grassroots groups. Uh, is any of that skepticism left after the second debate? Well, I think that we appreciate what he's saying, but with all politicians, Romney included, President Obama, all of them, we aren't going to take what they say for granted. And if Romney's elected, we're going to make sure that we watch what he does and hold his feet to the fire and hold him accountable. We only have one debate left, and it's going to be focused solely on foreign policy. Have you heard everything that you'd, uh, have, you, you'd hope to hear from Governor Romney on domestic issues uh, during these first two debates? I think he's done a good job laying out what he plans to do with his five-point plan. And I, I think that it's important that it's the undecided voters, those who still haven't made their mind up, that they're satisfied with it. And I hope that after tonight's debate and the one from two weeks ago, that they feel like they've got the answers they need for the domestic policy. Uh, do you feel like that Governor Romney has offered up enough specifics on that five-point plan uh, to really get his points across to folks in middle America, working class, middle class people about what he plans to do with the economy? I think he's done a, a good job of it. He's in the last debate in particular, not this one, but the one before when it, it was more of a moderated debate and not a town hall format, he did a very, very good job of laying out more details about what he expects, what he plans to do, and how it differs from what we've seen for the last four years. And one thing that I do appreciate, appreciate about Governor Romney is that he's giving specifics. It's not just slogans like hope and change or forward. He's laying out specific, more specifics for what he'd like to see happen. And there were times during this debate tonight where things got pretty heated. There was a lot of back and forth between President Obama and Governor Romney, perhaps more, more so than people would have uh, originally thought. What did you take away from some of those uh, more heated moments between the president and Governor Romney? Well, I think that it's good that it, it got heated. People need to see that there's a difference in the two people that are running for office. President Obama himself has said that this election is going to, it will be an election that determines the future of America, and there are two different futures, two different visions for the future at stake. And we need to see what those two visions are. We know what Obama will do, because we've already seen that for the last four years. It hasn't been working. The economy hasn't improved. It, it got worse, and if anything, right now it's stagnant from where it was four years ago. And um, we need to know what, what Romney can do differently. So I'm glad that he was out there fighting for his ideas and his values. And, and again, in, in relation to those exchanges, who do you think had more control uh, over their message tonight in this debate? I think they I think that in this particular debate, they both had control. I don't know that either one of them really won. Obama clearly did better than he did the last time, but then he did so poorly the last time. He didn't have anywhere to go but up. Um, and I think that overall, they, to me, it seemed like they were pretty even. And I was watching the debate on one of the networks that was showing the undecided voters and what they thought as the answers were coming in. And for the most part, it seemed like there wasn't anyone who just clearly went off the, sh the chart the entire time, like two weeks ago. And, and nothing about the president's aggressiveness that may have turned you off uh, from what you saw tonight. Um, I don't know that his aggressiveness turns me off. I expected him to be that way. I think for me, for what really matters over the next several weeks is how, how will it affect undecided voters. Did it appeal to them? Did it not appeal to them? Um, he's saying what I, I, I know what his policies are. I've watched them for the last four years. But listening to him tonight, you'd think he's for tax cuts, for um, less regulation, for oil, for coal. And it, the, the things he was saying tonight don't jive with the policies he's actually implemented over the last four years. All right, Jenny Beth Martin, co-founder of Tea Party Patriots, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me.